wonderful because carbon dioxide has great properties and everybody should at some stage set off a fire extinguisher because you need to be trained. If the first time you ever set off a fire extinguisher so when there's a real fire, you might know what to do. Now, carbon dioxide has some great properties. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the carbon dioxide that's in the fire extinguisher there. Now, I'm putting on these gloves to protect my hand because the substance that I form is actually a very cold substance. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put on my safety glasses to give good example. And what we're going to do now is we are going to put a little cloth like this over the mouth of the fire extinguisher. And we'll just see what happens when I release the gas. Now, when I open that, when I open that, you'll see inside, in the cloth, we have this white substance. Now, inside in the fire extinguisher, you have all these little particles of carbon dioxide running around inside. And when you release them, they try to escape through the cloth, but many of them get caught and they're turned from a, liquid, from a gas into a solid. Now, what do you notice about that solid little boy? Stick your finger in it. Just touch it. What's it? What do you notice? Very cold. What do you notice about it? Very cold also. That substance there is called dry ice. It's a common name for solid carbon dioxide. And before they invented refrigerated vans, this was added to your ice cream in blocks in order to keep the ice cream cold. The temperature of that is minus 60 degrees centigrade. That's colder even than the North Pole. Now, Donica and Dennis, have we got some solid carbon dioxide there, please? Grant. Now, Donica and Dennis today made lumps of solid carbon dioxide for me, just like this, big slabs of it. And if I could have some boiling water, please, in a beaker. If we take some solid carbon dioxide, thanks, Sudaman, you might give me some water there. Now, watch what happens. Thanks, Sudaman, that's perfect. Watch what happens if I put some of the dry ice into this. We straight away notice this cloud that's formed. This is often used in the horror films. You're in Frankenstein's laboratory and everything is bubbling away in the background and it's real scary, <laughs> sort of thing. But, but he's not scared at all, he's only laughing at me. Now, the cloud that you see there is exactly the same as the cloud you see in the sky, exactly. All that we're doing is we're using the very cold carbon dioxide to cool the air. And that's why I asked Sudaman to give me hot water, because I knew there'd be lots of water vapour up there. So carbon dioxide is a very useful substance. If I ask David to take a bit of dry ice, and he's going to put it into the, the uh, glove there. Now just look at what happens when he puts it into the glove. Now he's sealing the glove and he's trapping the carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is one of the few substances which goes directly from a solid into a gas. That's why it's called dry ice, because it doesn't turn into water like ordinary ice. And as you can see there in the glove, as David warms up the glove inside, it's getting bigger and bigger inside. And if you left that lying around long enough, it'll actually burst the glove. So carbon dioxide is a very useful substance because it doesn't allow things to burn. That's why we use it inside in fire extinguishers. It's also very heavy. So that if you have a fire, it's the best type of fire extinguisher to have because in the home, for example, because it works in all types of fires. But if you have a fire low down, the carbon dioxide forms a blanket over it. So it's a very useful uh, substance indeed. <laughs>